Well, good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Jesse. How are you? I'm doing great. Welcome to another Monday video session. It's a it's fun day Monday. Well, excellent. So this week, let's explore the 3M Biblioteca Cloud Library ebook integration. Yeah, this is our last ebook integration video. We've we've seen OverDrive. We've done recorded books, one click digital, those are the same. And now we'll do this 3M Biblioteca. So this is exciting. Exciting. So this one works a little bit differently than the last two that we've showed you for OverDrive and recorded books, as Kelly has mentioned. Uh, this is a plugin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go directly into administration. So if you are doing this yourself, you can go to the GitHub repository for Bywater Solutions, and there is a Koha plugin for Biblioteca. Um, as long as you have your plugins system preference enabled, you'll be able to go in, um, download the plugin from the GitHub site, and then upload it to your system. For those of you who use support with Bywater Solutions, you can absolutely submit a ticket for us, and we'd be happy to do that for you. Now, once that plugin is uploaded, let's go in to manage that plugin. So from administration, we're gonna come down to the bottom and select manage plugins. This is where we'll be able to come in and select the plugin that we're looking for. It's going to be the Biblioteca eBook plugin. So from our actions, we're gonna start with the configure option. Now, the configure option is going to allow us to enter in four parameters. The first three parameters you're going to get from your Biblioteca vendor. Um, they will provide your client ID, client secret, and library ID. Now, they will refer to the client ID and the client secret as your account key and account ID. Um, so you'll be able to enter that information in. And then the fourth option here, which is an item type. And Kelly, why don't you talk about the two options that they have here? Yeah, of course. What this has done is it's allowed you to add a specific item type for your cloud library eBooks. Now, libraries do sometimes already have an eBook item type, and you're more than welcome to put that code in here. However, if you wanted a separate way for your users to be able to search just specifically for your cloud library biblioteca books, you can create an item type um, and then actually add that code in here. Um, item types are, are created in your administration module. Excellent, thank you, Kelly. You're welcome. Okay, now that we have the configuration saved, let's go to our next step and that's going to be to run the tool. Now, on your initial setup, what you'll wanna do is enter a date here from a time that you remember that books, items, audiobooks have been ordered and then you can run or fetch the records. What this will do is this will go out, look for any items that have been purchased and it will bring those records back into the system. Um, these are going to show in line with your results. Now this is a little different than OverDrive and recorded books because these are actually going to show in line and we'll show you that in a few minutes. Now Kelly, talk to us a little bit about um, options they have for cron jobs to make this a little easier so they don't have to run the tool every time. Awesome, yep, absolutely. So instead of doing this manually, you do have the option here do this manually once a month, however often you want to grab your new records from Biblioteca, or we can set up a cron job that will actually fetch those record, fetch those new records for you. And if you want to run that cron job once a month, it will run and it will look for anything since the last time it ran. So it will grab any new records as of the last. Going forward, every time it will just go ahead and grab any new ones since the last date it ran. So that's really helpful. You don't have to remember to do it. Perfect. Um, and again, if you have support with Bywater, please just submit a ticket and we'd be happy to set that cron job up for you. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we have taken care of um, the tool, let's talk about one more step that you have to do in administration. Um, let's go back into admin and we're gonna go into our global system preferences. There is two pieces of JavaScript that you will need to add to both your OPAC user JS and your intranet 
user js and you can see that piece of uh, code right here um, and you can copy and paste that directly uh, into your system preference um, i'll just do a search here so we can look at both of those the one will be for your opac user js and then the other will be for your intranet user js um, so you'll edit that and, and put that information in there for both now remember, Jesse, where, where it says your library ID in those brackets, you are going to add your library ID in there. Excellent, thank you Kelly for pointing that out. You'll wanna remember, this will be that same information that we talked about when we were configuring the plugin. Um, this will be from your Biblioteca 3M Cloud Library uh, vendor representative. Uh, they'll provide you with that ID number. Okay. Now that we've taken care of administration, let's move over to the OPAC and show them what it'll look like uh, for a search for their patrons. So what we'll do is we'll start right in the search the catalog. You'll notice that I am not logged in yet. So if a user wants to come in here and say they are getting ready to uh, read a title before they go see that movie, um, we're gonna do a search for Crazy Rich Asians. And you'll notice that um, my results show in line. So if you watched our last videos for recorded books or overdrive, we'd have a link up top that we'd have to click on to go look at the results. Well, the nice thing with 3M is that those results show in line. So the user doesn't even have to worry about looking up top. And then remember on the left is that item type that's been created. So we have that cloud library ebook. So you could go ahead and narrow in using your fastest to just look at our cloud library. Um, Results. Perfect. And look at that, it takes us right to it. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice it's telling us right away, log in to see cloud library availability. So what this is doing for the user is it's allowing them to log in, check to make sure they actually have a cloud library account, and then it takes them in to see that information. So now if I go over to that cloud library tab, you'll notice in my summary account, I have my checked out items, of course, for any physical items that I have checked out from the library, physical holds I have at the library, if I have an OverDrive account and or recorded books. Now my third tab here is going to be my cloud library. Now, of course, if your library does not have one of these, they will not be visible, okay? These are only turned on by the system preference. I don't think many libraries have all three, but maybe two would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> So here you can see we have our, our cloud library account. So what I'll do here is I'm going to return this item because I already had that checked out. So you can see how easy it is. It checks that item right back in. Um, and now I can do a search. So why don't we do an advanced search and we'll just look at some of the um, ebooks that we have in here. What we did was we created a separate 3M um, item type just for those to make it easier for our patrons to search for those records in the system. So here you can see um, I have a result. It shows me options because I'm logged in. It no longer shows me that button that says log in to look at cloud availability. It gives me the option to check it out. So um, it's funny, Kelly and I were just talking about Kristen. <laughs> um, Cavallari, how um, MTV in the olden days yeah. used to have some uh, fun reality shows. Yeah, reality shows. And now she has her own book. Balancing in Heels. Wow. So anyways, here we see it. So if we try to check this book out, I'm going to click that button. I'm going to get a pop-up that tells me that the item is checked out. It tells me when it's due back at the library, and I can click OK, and now we can see that that item has been checked out. It does give me that return button right here, or of course, I can go directly into my account and check on that cloud library tab, and then it would show me that checkout that I do have in the system. So. Um, it's, it's very simple. If I click on that, it'll actually take me directly out to the uh, 3M account where I can see that, that title um, from the system. So lots of nice, nice items here that you can check out easily in the system. Now, of course, holds would work the same way. Um, if I wanted to place a hold on an item that was checked out, I would have a button there that would allow me to place a hold. And then here I would see that um, option for the hold. 
Same thing for holds that are ready to check out. If I've finally come up um, on Becoming, we know that's a hot item this uh, holiday season for Michelle Obama, um, and my turn is up, I would see that button here as well. So an, a lot of nice options for the cloud library. This is, this is great, I'm so excited. I hope a lot of libraries get going on this because it would be fun to help anybody set this up and make sure that um, they are comfortable using this as well as their patrons. All right, Kelly, well, we've taken them through setup and searching and checking things out in the system and, and doing some returns. Um, so if you have any questions, we will have a blog post uh, written with some step-by-step -step instructions. We will have a link to the plugin page uh, through the GitHub site, uh, so you can see that plugin directly. Uh, and if there's any other questions that you need, you'll be able to follow us on our YouTube channel. Yeah, this is great. Thanks, Jesse. And Happy New Year to you, Kelly. New Year. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions.